Steph, uh, Gingrich? Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts. Lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Yeah, totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Being Gabe? Right. <sighs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... Okay, there was a breakup involved. Ah. So I wanted a change of scenery, a new job in a gorgeous place. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Okay, the manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. Great, here's the list. Introduce myself on air? Huh, let's give this a shot. What's up, Kind Haven listeners? Steph here. Your new DJ at KRCT? Live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you. So uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music. So next up, check out the playlist. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. It'll do, I guess. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. It's my turn now. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too? Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their licensed experts. These people are like career Sherpas, helping you scale the mountain of your dreams. But Steph, you say, 
I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step up. No total disaster so far. Just gotta make sure I read them all. Away from the desk for a sec. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche Ice Cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is going to blow your freaking mind. Even their classics are a step above the rest. Prepare to change the way you think about vanilla. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Sonny and Angela Anderson, the best neighbors a hungry DJ could ask for. No total disaster so far. Just got to make sure I read them all. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors. The Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... The historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? That's right. Nowhere. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Top-notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction. Bar none. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? and top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. How do you introduce yourself to someone named Bubbles?
Okay, spending an hour entertaining yourself by talking to a bot is cute, but spending two hours is cause for concern. Guess I should probably break the ice. You're kidding. There's probably work for me to do in the store as well. I think there was a note for me on the front counter. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. So, if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. And, yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? It's throwback time. Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. My first call. Better go answer it. Hello? You're on KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to? Me? 
is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. Could I just give you my order and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. All right. Uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Oh, boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these four? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah. You lost me there. <sighs> All right, dude. Listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, it just needs some screws. Is there an animal in there? Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. When's the last time someone even used this? No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. All my old GM stuff. Holy shit! Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. Oh my god. This takes me back. So, need a new Elamon campaign.
It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, I am. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Well, I feel like I'd get along with this woman. Not Kasha's favorite musical, I take it. Oof. We need to get this sucker filled up. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. I had this melody in my head all night. Okay, so what instrument should I play this thing on? Yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a guitar riff. One of these might work. That sounds promising. Cool. KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. You know what? For the sake of filling some airtime, sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU, but then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay, just give me a second. Damn, how do I tell this girl's future? All right, what am I going to tell this girl? 18, huh? That's a strong role. So what's my prediction? Okay, I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. So, you and Tara had a good run. Oh, no. You said UC was your dream school, and dreams are about embracing the unknown. After just a few weeks, you develop an interest in... peer-to-peer -peer counseling. Whoa. The same uh, unique personality that led you to call me while 
your ex-boyfriend is still sobbing in the background, makes you a perfect candidate for wading through the messy emotions of your fellow classmates. I am really good at knowing what other people should do all the time. And that's where you meet your new best friend. She connects with the new you, the one filled with passion and untapped potential. Weirdly, her name is also Tara. Then I don't have to switch my bracelet. All right. That's all I got. Uh, hope it helped. I'm not sure, but it was really fun. Thanks, Steph. Actually, I'll need to get back in the booth. Unicorn hunters. Barking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Oh my god, oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me... It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously, and I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? Uh, avoid situations like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. Elevate your job prospects today. Rough first day, huh? Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me, answering your calls in just a few minutes. It's too damn hot to be... What's it called? Talking.
All right. The heat. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Ah, uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show, listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Just so he knows I hear him and I love him. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. Said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Hey, Steph. Your pals at Smolder have noticed you're having a massive dry spell on account of you live in fucking nowhere, Colorado. Would you like to expand your dating radius? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. Time to deliver good music. From the storage room to the masses. If Summer were a person, she would for sure listen to reggae, and I would for sure have a crush on her. Sweet. I'm just gonna pretend that all the mice moved out and went to Mouse College by now. Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. Well, those drawings were meant to be a hint. Guess I should look around the store.
Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. That must have been some party. Oh, wow. Kasha ran this place for a long time. Oh, man. Better leave that here, or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. <laughs> Damn it, past Dave. Oh, good. I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. That's not even close to enough stickers. I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts. Haven't you? I wonder if these are supposed to connect to something in the store. Maybe records? Well, if Hungover Dave worked it out, I'm sure I can too. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. Last thing I've got to do today is pack up all the pride decorations. It took me way too long to notice this. Hmm. Those shades are undeniably star-shaped. Could be useful. I hate that I actually find this funny. Maybe a handful of these could lure the cat out of the walls. Where's a good spot to put these? Could drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? It's a nice quiet spot. Consider it a peace offering. Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. Twelve. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship. The love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. Oh, carry on. So you see, Traveler, that these preposterous accusations you received are simply, well, preposterous. You mean the part about a dark spirit in an invisible tower? Or the part about placating it through a ritualistic human sacrifice? Both. All of it. I'm sorry you have wasted so much time and effort in coming here, Traveler. No, I don't suspect I have. Your mayorship. They call it New Eden. The greatest, most prosperous, most peaceful city in all the realms. What's wrong with it? Absolutely nothing. For a New Eden, crime is but a memory. Disease is but a myth. Pain... Yeah, there's something seriously messed up with this place. This campaign has been, dare I say, epic so far. I'm so glad Mikey got us playing again. To rep Honestly, if this is as bad as Kasha seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, 
I've been very confused my whole- Taking this to look at later. I spy with my little eye. Borrowing this for a minute. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get a viewer. Yes, but so many remain. So very- Hmm. No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Let's give these kids something worth running from. Nailed it. Sick GTO. What is it with old bands and animal names? Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Baynor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Man, that guitar's seen some shit. Reminds me of my shitty first drum kit. Those look like ghosts, to me. Grabbing this for reference, that's all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving? If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. I'll catch up with you eventually, Jen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Man, that game was something else. You're getting better. I might have to actually try this time. Try all you want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall, Stephanie. Well, whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Ugh, dude. I said not to think about it. Goo goo ga ga stuff. Let me pour you a glass. Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. My hands were sweaty. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't wanna jinx it. Dang, I'm blowing up today. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. I'm having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. That's some scary stuff. I've seen grown men cry over less. Right? And I'm just a teenager, so I'm quaking in my combat boots. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. <laughs> I will consult with Mother Fate. B 
be right back. And by mother fate, I mean my D20. Oof. Three? That's really not great. All right. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 predicts disaster. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay... I'm seeing your family dinner go up in smoke. Crap, really? Literally, in fact, the meal gets burnt, smoking heavily and setting off your smoke alarms. Not to be defeated, your parents... Order Chinese food. A delicious spread of General So's chicken and stir-fried vegetables saves the evening. And the fire alarm provides a good icebreaker. My girlfriend loves Chinese food. You can still taste fortune cookie on her lips when she kisses you goodnight. <laughs> Holy crap, am I actually excited for this now? That's the spirit. Thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it the Dateless Dating Advisor. Uh... I hope I can find that record he requested. And now, a message from our sponsors. Your friends at Avalanche Ice Cream would like... Wait. What is that? What is that? Stay with me here, guys. I'll try to describe what I'm seeing. I think a UFO just landed outside the record store. Okay, there's a door. It's opening. The aliens are coming out. Two of them. They're heading into Avalanche now. Wait, what's this? The aliens love the ice cream. One appears to be raving over the new cookie mobster cone, and the other is enraptured by a scoop of pigs in mud. The aliens are getting back on their ship. They're taking off. <laughs> Woo! That was tense. I sure am glad Avalanche Ice Cream was here to save the day. Why not stop in and show them your appreciation? Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst roommate. Oof. I've been there. I feel you. Thank you. But I'm at the end of my rope here. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls. He even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. And the smells. I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything. But it's just like strawberry B.O. Uh, okay. I get the picture. So, why are you calling? So, I've been planning to have, like, a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out? You are the psychic. 
Okay, give me a sec. A five's pretty bad. Home not feeling like home. That's a rough one. So can a house meeting really turn it around? The D20 didn't have high hopes. I have seen into the blurry future. And? You have your house meeting? It doesn't help. He makes a big show of putting away, like, one dish. <laughs> then he's right back to the way he was. Really? There's just nothing I can do? Well, you find ways to cope. You play small pranks on him. Leaving fake parking tickets on his windshield, swapping his pudding with mayonnaise. Your favorite is setting his phone's autocorrect to replace hey with send nudes. Wait, let me grab a pen. I want to take notes. It's a little petty for sure, and it doesn't really solve your problems, but it is fun. Not gonna lie, this wasn't the answer I was hoping for. Sorry, bro. I am but a vessel for the fates and yada yada. Thanks for the call. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer. So, visit the Lantern and escape the heat with... Air conditioning. And, if you sit in the right spot, you can even hear Jed grumble to himself about the electric bill. And if that's not enough to get you in the door... The upcoming bar crawl will... How do you do a bar crawl when there's only one bar in town? You'll have to show up to find out. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Let's take a quick ad break, Kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. that you, yes you, are eating lunch with one right now. And you didn't even know it. And as locals, these reporters see everything. They see that graffiti too, and they cover it. They see those potholes too, and they'll cover it. And that unsolicited dick pic you just sent, yeah, they saw that too. If you want world-class, fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard. The Rocky Mountain Gazette. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, I heard you talking about Pride the other day, and you sort of convinced me to go next week. Don't worry. You can thank me later. I like that confidence. I've been, like, out for a while, but I've never actually had a boyfriend. I figured if I'm ever going to meet one, Pride would be the place. You're going to Pride to find a boyfriend? Does it work out? Hmm. Give me just a sec. Fourteen. Not bad. Going to his first pride looking for love. How do I help this kid manage his expectations? He did have a decent role. Ready to hear your future? <laughs> As I'll ever be. Your first pride is truly a thing to behold. There's music, celebration, literal gay frolicking. It's enough to sweep you up and spin you around. 
And that's when you bump into him. It's like he's stepped off the pages of a magazine. Heads turn, glasses are lowered, and mouths fall open. But he's only got eyes for you. Oh my god. He shows you around the festival, taking you to booths, introducing you to his friends, and showing you what Pride is really all about. Finding your people. Oh man, I'm hyped. This is gonna be awesome. Have fun and stay safe. Thanks for calling in. That's all four records. Watch your back. If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. So, something hidden in these is supposed to get me in there. Better get code cracking. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I fit. Hmm. Those look like I spy with my little eye. Five, um. Eyes? Let's pop this bad boy open. How do these records turn into a combination of- Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've- Hmm. But those I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Now if that hmm those, those look like ghosts to me. Let's pop this bad boy open. Finally. I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record, if anyone still cares.
so glad they sell these in bulk. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. Not Kasha's favorite musical, I take it. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. That's not... Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. Guess it needs a hook, but what kind? Maybe like a really anthemic hook. Something that makes you feel like you're putting your fist in the air. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just lazy? This place looks great. All good things must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. 
I want to be her. Same. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Fried, Seattle. Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever, literally ever. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. I'll be back tomorrow. Kind of a bummer to take down all the decorations. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one... Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. I love these so much. Our letter... Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people and recharging my entire soul. Word. All right, signs are dry. Let's go. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Did I miss any other pride stuff? Can't forget about the pin dish on the counter.
People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Ugh, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. <laughs> There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Genderqueer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14 year old homo at your first pride, just like everyone else here once was, and they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. What the hell am I doing here? Steph, you know you can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first, But first, another track. Okay, work mode, go. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. who wears a costume. So, you know, dust off that Dracula cape and sink your fangs into a scoop of black forest cherry. Anyway, check it out. Hey.
Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right. Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Dang. Three weeks alone in a little box? I thought I was a boss for surviving six-hour shifts in mine. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to, like, level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune-telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but... I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Oh, aspiration for sure. Having total freedom, owing nothing to anyone? Sounds like the life. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into. But I can tell you this, getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. I wouldn't say that. I've never left anyone without feeling bad. Ah, uh, but feelings are portable. You can take them with you straight out of town. Hmm. So I learned this the hard way, but... The idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Kind Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider. Happy hour, right? Yes, happy hour, where the already great food and beers are even cheaper, but only for an hour. What a deal. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to... Live Lobster on Monday Evenings, also known as the Bison of the Ocean. These hefty creatures will be shipped to Colorado still kicking, ready to be boiled at the snap of your fingers. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto. Repairs. Grimley's Auto Repairs. Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for. The love of the game. Which game? The car game, the community game, name a game, they love it. And that's why they're in this business. So if you or someone you love is a car, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do.
Watch and learn, Steph. The master is about to go to work. Aw, that's adorable. You think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Hey, you got something on your face. Oh, no, no never mind. That's just what your face looks like. Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. Oh, it's a look of profound shame after losing to me yet again. Maybe your cat just doesn't like losers. What? Could it be? <laughs> after all his big talk, has Gabe Chen been humiliated in his own house? You know, gloating is not very sportsmanlike. Rung by rung, sucker. Let's see what I have left. Oh good, all of it. All right, just a few chores left. You're on with Steph. Ah, yes. Okay, I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it, which was dumb. Yeah, you think it's dumb to talk about your coworker's butt? I know, but does it really need to be a whole big thing? I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Ten, the most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll, so... What do I think this guy deserves? I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair, next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. For 45 tense minutes, they drill you on every word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our co-workers that decided to make a big deal out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. It's just everyone's acting like I'm some sort of a creep all of a sudden. Okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. I know you weren't trying to make her uncomfortable, but you clearly did. So instead of telling some radio DJ that you screwed up and you're really a nice guy, why don't you prove it and apologize to her? Yeah. You're right. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. Gotta grab this from the CD section. 
Wow. I really don't want to do any of this. Can't believe this was gathering dust in the back, when it could have been gathering dust out here. So glad I decided to hang on to this monstrosity. I can't even imagine working in the shop in the throes of... Found it. Been a while since I've worked on my song. I've been tinkering with it. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, and a vocal track. Maybe I'll really bring the doom and gloom in the breakdown. Wow, I really don't want to do any of this. I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. Get it? Steph picks instead of staff. I already tried rubbing his belly. <sighs> Wait, which one did Gabe do again? Country is one part heartbreak, one part liquor, and then a mother f this is what it's come to. Bribing my cat with drugs. Pull yourself together, Misty. I might have been a little optimistic about the demand for these. Damn, Ninja Cat. I just filled this up. But wait, there's more. Looks like some vigilante justice to me. Let's see what Ethan does with that. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? Can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Oh shit, I need to give this back. I should probably stop sourcing my daily caloric intake from this table. The whole town is 
rubble. It'll hit our house soon. I'm taking shelter, but I love you, okay? Mom! Mom! Come on, Gingrich. I am so not having this right now. Last chore. Just get it done. Wow. I really don't want to do any of this. It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. Gabe! Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Gabe, listen, I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Damn it, Mikey. Really glad we could hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's, uh, well, you know. Yeah.
Why am I such a downer? Come on, let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay, where were we? I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. We playing or not? Shh, Wells is coming. Penis! <laughs> <laughs> I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no, no, pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Everything okay? All good. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. <laughs> Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now? Just angry. Like there's a piece inside of me that wants to scream until I run out of breath. Mostly I'm angry at myself. Why do I deserve to be here when all of them don't? You ever talk to Chloe? No, I hear she's off the radar like me. The two wandering weirdos. Look, Steph, what you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. Fuck! Water seeping in. Roll for perception. This storm is, is biblical. Why hasn't Drew called back yet? Anything from your mom? She'll be fine. My house is safe. You know what isn't though? <laughs> your position. You're surrounded by enchanted skeletons and your HP is fucked. Now roll. Fuck, I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah, no, I don't know. How do you deal with the thoughts that won't go away? What do you mean? You know, about Drew at the end. Oh, like picturing my brother being crushed to death by cinder blocks. Wondering if it hurt, if he had any last thoughts. I guess I just accept them now. It's like a song that gets stuck in your head. It's there whether you like it or not, so might as well sing along. I've watched my mom die a thousand times in my mind, running into the basement, grabbing her rosary beads, Screaming in fear, it's always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. But maybe talking about it helps. Yeah, maybe. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try.
Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking, why don't you come? It'll be, well, you know, it'll be fucking horrible, but maybe a little less horrible if we're both there. Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Maybe you just can't let go of high school. I'm your human time capsule back to the good old days. I know you don't believe that. Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you. If it makes you feel any better, I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. I never thought of it that way. Hey. That's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. <laughs> now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. <laughs> He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. <laughs> okay. We've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly. I might do this every year.
Hey there, you're live on KRCT, and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... Someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Why didn't you? <laughs> because I didn't have anything to offer her. That's been my excuse for ages. <sighs> No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask, what's going to happen if I contact her? What's she going to say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. don't ruin it. Okay. Give me a second. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? What would be super good for Gabe? You reach out, the two of you have a really tough conversation. You talk for two hours. She says all the things you were afraid she would. Your absence really hurt. For years, she thought you didn't want her in your life anymore. This is supposed to be good? When you hang up, you're exhausted emotionally raw, but you're also grateful because now you know exactly what needs to be rebuilt and you can roll up your sleeves and get started. You admit you screwed up and you don't try to rush anything. Gradually, she starts texting you back once a week, twice a week, first thing every morning until one day she sends you a screenshot of her phone history. <laughs> it's calls to Gabe all the way down. And you realize she's saying she's so happy you're back in her life. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to... 
grab a complimentary glass of bubbly in time for the countdown. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers drink specials so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer-scented heart of Haven Springs. All right, Gabe, what did you leave out there for me? Hey, we've got a returning sponsor today, Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. Since 2005, when some of y'all were writing Fallout Boy lyrics in your aim away message, you know who you are. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you, Crash your car head on into Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Vixen, they're here for you. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair, your best and greasiest neighbors. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're gonna survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry, Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty size candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one-stop shop for healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spamps. What could fit under the front door? Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay, it's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Grandma gifts rule. They pull out all the stops. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm calling. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and Grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the Cosmos. <sighs> A 
12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You return the whopper of a gift and come clean with Grandma after all those years of misguided presence. Oh, my stomach hurts. It's a thorny conversation, not at all softened by your Grandma's homemade raspberry tarts. Even though she's embarrassed, she's thankful that you were honest. It shows that you really do value her. <sighs> That's a relief. And instead of video cameras, Grandma makes you a holiday sweater every year featuring Rudolph in various summertime occupations. Oh? Gardener, lifeguard, ice cream truck driver, seasonal orchard hand, that sort of thing. Is she trolling you? Mm, it's unclear. Huh. But you learn something important. Never return a gift from Grandma? No matter what happens. There's nothing you can say or do to make your grandma stop adoring you. And the more you get out in the world, the more people you meet, the more you realize how rare and special that is. Thanks, Steph. That means a lot. You got it. A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. I did a bunch of work on my song. I think it's finally finished. My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with someone? Gotta add the latest game. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. Look, your fundamentals are solid, but your trash talk needs some serious improvement. As of this moment, 
You are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Damn, man. That sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor. Teach me. Lesson one. You gotta get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities against them. Hmm? Sorry. I was just thinking about that pic Char showed me of your scene phase. Oh, fuck you. Was it hard to play foosball with your hot topic bangs obscuring your line of sight? It was the mid-2000s, okay? Okay, let's move on to lesson two. You gotta flex your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? Dude, what do you know about flexing? Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> Whatever. I can lift more than you. D Boom! Thanks for the lesson, Professor. How'd I do? I've taught you all I can. The student has become the master. Should all the acquaintance be forgot? A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. Getting pretty mushy, even for Gabe. Getting pretty mushy. Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Huh, Char. I... <laughs> what? Good effort, Ethan. Good effort, Ethan. Okay, that clue's in here somewhere. See, Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. Ready for laser duck. Holy shit. This is rad. All right, think it's about time to crack open that champagne. Okay, Jed, what have you hooked me up with? Close enough. Happy New Year, Valkyrie! Wherever you are.
Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey, Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. <sighs> it's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val's doing great. She's completely moved in. She loves to sleep on my lap. She's scratching all the customers. I'm in heaven. <laughs> all right. Here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. Comment to me, yeah. Let me find you like that. Do you need some? 